What's this tree? A fragrant olive tree. They are in bloom up ahead too. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. During this season, all the trees are in full bloom. Fragrant olives. Yes. In China, we call these trees gui, and there are so many here, like woods or lin. So gui lin means the woods of fragrant olives. Really? A lot of them are in bloom. Yes, it's as though the whole mountain is wrapped by the flowers. Let's move on, Yo. Okay. Shenfa. Yes. Do you like flowers, Shenfa? Yes, I love them. How about you? Flowers. I had a friend whose family ran a florist. Your friend in Japan? Yeah. What is a florist? A shop that sells flowers. Sell flowers? Yeah, that's right. That's strange. Flowers can be found everywhere. Well, that's true. Does your friend go pick flowers in the mountains and sell them? No, Nozomi. The person's name is Nozomi. Yeah. Who was this person? Nozomi. We were childhood friends. A childhood friend. We lived near each other and went to the same school. Were you too close? Uh, yeah, I guess. What's the matter, Yo? We were close. I see. Shenfa. Yes. No matter how far we go, the paths look all the same. It's like this everywhere around here. Did you ever get lost? When I was small, I did. But if you get lost, just take the animal trails. The animal trails? The path that the animals in the mountains walk. If you follow one, it'll always lead to water. How do you find one? You look for animal footprints. Footprints. You know so much about animals. I've played in the forest since I was a child. You learned it naturally. No, my father taught me most of the things I know. Your father. Yes, about the forest and the mountains and the animals. He taught me about the sky, the stars, and many other things. I see. Shenfa. Yes. How far does this forest go? All the way to the village. Oh, the scenery looks all the same to me. People not from here think the exact same thing. It's amazing how you don't get lost. How do you recognize the paths? I'll know the direction if I see the sun's position. And there are signs here and there on the paths. Signs on these mountain paths? Yes, there are some ahead of here. Strangely shaped trees and stones, and the drinking water places. Oh. You use the rocks and trees as landmarks. I've been using the signs all the way till now. Didn't you notice? No, I didn't notice. I'll show you what the signs are. One of them is just up ahead. Okay. So many butterflies. They're beautiful. Don't they look like flowers? Flowers. Hey, yeah, they do look like flowers. When I was small, I once saw a lot of butterflies all fly away at once. I started crying because I really thought that all the flowers had flown away. Why are there so many here? Why? There aren't any flowers around here. This is the place where the butterflies come to drink water. To drink? Yes. After the rainfall, they come here to take in the drops on the leaves. You see them often after a rainfall. I see. Shenfa. Yes. What does your father do? He's a stone cutter in Bailu Village. I see. He finds various stones in the mountain stone pits, and creates beautiful works from stone. When we get to our village, I want to show you some things my father created. I'd like that. Good. What about your father? My father. My father taught me a lot of things. Just like me and my father. Yeah. 
What did your father teach you? Father. Father. Yo, what's wrong? Did I say something wrong? No. I was just remembering something. By the way, aren't we near Bailu Village yet? We go over this mountain, and we'll have to go even further. I see. We still have a long way to go.